What's up, you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today, and it is G Fest 22 haul video time. Um, literally just got home like half an hour ago, 45 minutes, and uh, what a drive there and back to Chicago. Um, you know, G Fest 22 was awesome. I'll get more into the G Fest 22 experience in another video after this one, but uh, for now, I'm just going to show you guys what I got in my G Fest haul. Now, the first things I'm going to go over is actually stuff that my dad bought for himself. Nothing that I bought personally, but this stuff that my dad bought. So uh, I'm just going to go over that stuff first, and then I'm going to go over the stuff that I got. So one of the things my dad got was a Godzilla bottle opener. I've seen those around, but he decided to pick one up. Very cool. <clears throat> uh, he also ended up getting... Uh, Robert Scott's Field, uh, you know, CD that he had there, you know, for sale at his table. And my dad even got it signed by him, which is very cool. So that's another thing my dad got. And, uh, let's see, everything else my dad got here pretty much came from um, the artist alley up there. Uh, he got this really cool CD called Kodojai, I think it's called, uh, sent... Uh, Sentinent, I think that I think I'm pronouncing that right, but it's pretty much this guy's own made-up uh, kaiju, and uh, he you know he made it into a comic and everything like that. And what's on this CD is tracks one through five are actually the uh, comic uh, you know aud audio readings of the comic, and then tracks six through eighteen are uh, music that him and his band put together. And what it is is it's actually a mixture of uh, Godzilla music with funk music. So that's pretty cool. So that's another thing my dad picked up. Uh, my dad ended up picking up this uh, neat little picture print here of Godzilla, the SH Monster Arts Godzilla riding a sausage. Pretty funny. My dad's going to put that down in the shop at the Metal Arts Village. My dad also picked up this uh, Night of the Fire Beast comic, which is very cool. I even looked through it myself. And he got a freebie with it, which is uh, this uh, printing in black, and it's just kind of like an uh, artwork book. So that's pretty cool. He got these two. He ended up getting this framed, which it is the GMK Godzilla, and it's, you know, kind of making fun of the flag of the don't tread on me flag. But he also got this, so that's pretty neat. He's also going to hang this up into the shop. <clears throat> And finally, he ended up getting this picture here, which is a, a popular favorite at G-Fest from what I've seen. So, uh, very nice, you know, print picture here of the SH Monster Arts Little Godzilla, uh, you know, Adult Godzilla and Space Godzilla. Even I really like this one. It's pretty funny. But he's also going to get this one framed and uh, put it down in the shop. So, very cool. And as you guys may have already noticed, the uh, setting here is different. Uh, I came back home. Everything's rearranged, so hopefully this setting's working out okay. I kind of just set it up really quick, and I did a few test runs. I think the lighting is okay, so uh, but I kind of have less room to work with back here. And I don't have as nice of a backdrop, as you guys can see, as I did before with the other cabinets that I had uh, put in place. But everything's changed around now. i got a little bit of a smaller space to work with, but hopefully it works. But now, let's get on to the stuff that I got. And before I get any further, explain, you know, the different rearranging and everything like that. And, uh, you know, of course, this video is also the, uh, you know, represents the mark of two years on YouTube. Godzilla Fan Freaks, I've been here for two years on YouTube now. I started my first YouTube video was my G-Fest 20 haul, and it kind of just went on from there. Last year's G-Fest haul was one year anniversary. Now we're on two year anniversary, you guys. Thank you all for uh, subscribing and everything like that, and you guys, it just means a lot. And uh, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun doing the Godzilla Fan Freaks, so of course, never expect it to stop anytime soon. Okay, you guys, now let's get on to what I got at G-Fest. Of course, I'll just go over the basics, you know, of course, uh, you know, got the G-Fest 22 program. Very nice, keep it in pristine condition and everything like that. <clears throat> Here is the uh, program for the Symphonic Fury concert, which is very cool. And uh, during the uh, you know admission or not the in intermission of the concert, uh, I was able to get it signed by uh, 
Ko Otani, I believe is how you pronounce his name. And he signed it, you know, right along the top there where his picture is. So that's pretty cool. Kind of got that signed. Me and a few other people got this signed there at the concert. Kind of cheated the system a little bit because he was only there for the one day. And I know on Friday he did have an autograph session there at the Crown Plaza. But, of course, I forget how much it was for tickets or whatever. I didn't have anything for him to sign, but it was just something that popped into my head. He was only a few rows down from us, so I didn't have to wait that long. So uh, that was cool to get that signed. So very happy that I got a signature from him, especially on the Symphonic Fury booklet. That's very nice. Uh, next, what I got, well, well, let's do this first. Uh, here's, the, here's my Symphonic Fury ticket. You know, just something else to keep, you know, in pristine condition and stuff like that. And a little, like, uh, you know, slip or something like that. But there's my Symphonic Fury ticket. Uh, this next thing came from David Eric Dobko. Uh, this was also a freebie from him. He only brought limited, uh, you know, uh, amount of these to G-Fest to, uh, to hand out to his close friends and everything like that. So I was honored to have one. But it's a postcard he made of his famous photo that's been floating around the Facebook groups and everything of his Destroy All Monsters setup, and I'm very happy to uh, have one of these. I think I will be putting it up on my wall in my room somewhere. Not sure where. i got to rearrange and do some wall space because i got a lot of print and art this year. So I'm going to be doing some rearranging on the walls, probably do that tomorrow and such. But very cool. David, thank you for this. This is awesome. Let's see. Uh, this little print here was uh, from when uh, Robert Scott Field was doing his signatures on Saturday. And, uh, you know, he had his table set up. There really wasn't anyone waiting in line, so I got to go up and talk to him for a little bit. Like, uh, you know, I see him every year, and, and uh, it's always nice to talk to Robert one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you know personal, on a personal level and everything like that. And he had the one posters uh, that he was uh, had for like 25 bucks, And then these prints here were special little prints. And the money for these went to the Rebuild Japan Fund, I think, you know, just to rebuild from the earthquakes and the tsunamis and stuff like that they've been having over there. And uh, he said $10 or, you know, $10 or up, however much you want to, you know, put towards the fund is, you know, we'll get you one of these. So I gave him 20 bucks for this just because I thought 10 was, you know, a little too less. So I thought it'd be generous and uh, give him a 20. But I got this little nice print and I got it signed by him right over here. But these are very nice prints. Definitely be putting this up on my wall as well. <clears throat> Let's see. I think, yeah, this was the only one in this. Okay, now Butch, if you're watching this, Brutezilla, remember what I told you about the one Gamera print I got this year? You know, how um, you thought I got the Matt Frank print? And no offense to Matt Frank or anything like that. I, I'm, I don't hate on Matt Frank or anything. But when I saw this Gamera print, I have to say I liked it a lot better than the one Matt Frank did. Just my personal opinion. I love Matt Frank's artwork, but I just thought this one was a lot better. Here's that Gamera print, Butch. And uh, I hope I hope it gets in the entire shot. Again, I had to rework with everything getting switched around on me. But I'll try to zoom that in. Hopefully it focuses. But hopefully that's getting in. Okay, I'll try to turn it on its side. But that this print just popped out to me with all the colors and just the artwork on it is amazing. It just looks awesome. That That's just cool. I cannot wait to put that up on my wall. That is just awesome. But hopefully that's getting in the entire shot. Again, you guys, sorry. I'm just working with a new space. I'll probably have to do some more test runs and everything. But uh, And then on the other side is another print because, you know, that's how I save space, uh, you know, traveling and whatnot. I got one print here, and then I, sl I slid one print in behind it on the other side. Here is like a uh, Godzilla vs. Hedra artwork print poster that is very cool this kind of just stood out to me and I really like the way it looked get a little closer there for you guys again hopefully it's all getting in the shot I'll turn it a little sideways just in case it's not but uh, that's very cool I really I really dig this one a lot can't wait to get this up on my wall as well but yeah that's very cool and I did get some Matt Frank prints here's the print Matt Frank did last year for G-Fest I believe with uh, all the Godzillas down to uh, G14. This print was, you know, just awesome. And uh, his table really wasn't busy at the time. So that's what made me walk up to it and uh, look through his prints. Just because his table was almost always packed. So I never really got a chance to go look at anything. But he had this. And his prints were uh, two for 30 bucks. 
So I got this print here, and we get a little closer. Again, hopefully it's all getting in the shot, you guys. I really can't tell until uh, after I review this video. But And then, on the other side, I slid in behind this print. So this is the other print I got from Matt Frank. Another Godzilla vs. Hedra print. Now that's one thing that you guys might notice in my G-Fest haul, because even I noticed it after I was buying stuff for a little bit, is that I didn't intend to do it. It's just kind of something that I guess just spontaneously happened. Is uh, I ended up getting... Uh, what seemed to be a lot of Godzilla vs. Hedra related stuff. But, um, again, you know, it was just something that I just noticed. You know, it's like, I'm getting a lot of Godzilla vs. Hedra stuff. And it's like, not that I hate Godzilla vs. Hedra, I like the movie. But it's not like I planned to go to G-Fest and was like, hey, I want to get a lot of Godzilla vs. Hedra stuff. It was just something that happened, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, uh, I think it was like Rich, when, uh, when he went to G-Fest 20... He brought back a few Baragon things, and it just kind of happened that he just, you know, he wasn't planning to get a lot of Baragon stuff, but he came home with a few Baragon things, more than anything else. But there's the other print from Matt Frank I got. Let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me go over these posters here. Let's see which one is this. Ah, here is the, uh, I'll try to roll it out the best I can. Here is the Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah poster from uh, Robert Scott Field that he had at his table going for 25 bucks with a signature. As you can see, he signed it over here on the wing of uh, Ghidorah for me and everything. Very nice poster. I cannot wait to get this up on my wall in my room. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. But a very nice poster. Very glad that I snagged one of these because I know he only had a very limited amount. So very glad that I was able to snag one of these for sure. <clears throat> So, can't wait to put that up on the wall. And then the other poster I got is another Godzilla vs. Hedra poster. And Butch, I was taught when I, I went to go see Brutezilla at his work because I, I was passing through Nebraska. So, um, I don't know if he'll recognize this poster. I tried explaining it to him, but I know he's seen it before. But here is the uh, Godzilla vs. Hedra poster that I snagged at G-Fest this year. I wanted to get it last year, but I kind of ran out of cash. So, I wasn't able to get it. So, luckily, they still had it this year. And I was able to snag one. Cannot wait to get this up on my wall. Sorry, you guys. Hopefully, it's getting in the entire shot. I hope so. But uh, very nice poster. I really dig this one. Again, just I didn't plan on getting a lot of Godzilla vs. Hedra stuff. It just kind of happened that way. But a uh, very awesome poster. Cannot wait to get this one up on my wall. Very awesome. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Next up is uh, some more artwork I got in the artist gallery. Uh, for those of you that were at G-Fest or have seen, those are just business cards in there, you guys, from uh, some of the artists that I got this year. Nothing too crazy. But uh, this is uh, a guy that does uh, Godzilla artwork, and then he transfers them to uh, coaster plates. And uh, he had uh, he had six coasters for 20 bucks, and I asked him if you could mix and match, and he said you'd do whatever you want. So I got six different ones. So, of course, I got a Titanosaurus coaster, of course. Next, I believe, is Jet Jaguar. Yep. Uh, Jet Jaguar coaster, then it's King Caesar, the uh, Showa one, got him, very awesome. Hedra, again, another <laughs> item related to Godzilla vs. Hedra, very awesome. Uh, Showa Gigan, I really like that one, that one's really cool. And Mecha Godzilla from the Showa series. So those are the six Kaiju coasters that I got. I kind of am I'm thinking I'm going to go out and I'm going to go uh, shopping for, uh, you know, kind of like the ones that are glass that you can put, you know, pictures in and whatnot and see if I can't, uh, you know, put these in like a glass casing coaster of some sort. Because I really, I like to use these, but I really don't want them to get ruined from moisture over time. So hopefully I can go out and uh, find some glass coaster things that these will fit in. So, uh, but those are really neat. And like I said, I did get the Akira uh, Ifube 100, uh, you know, Legacy of Monster Music two-disc CD. Very happy that I got a copy of last year's concert. I cannot wait to listen to this. Uh, wasn't able to listen to it on the way back just because the rental car that we had didn't have a CD player. We were like, that sucks. And we bought, like, Robert, uh, Dad got Robert Scott's Field CD. He got the other CD. And then we got this CD. Plus, we brought other CDs of our own, you know, for the trip and everything, but we just had to flip through the radio the whole time. That really 
stinks that a 2015 uh, convertible Camaro doesn't have a CD player. That kind of that that was kind of bull crap. But uh, can't wait to listen to this CD. Just memories of last year's concert, that's for sure. But uh, awesome, glad I got one of these. Uh, let's see, one of the other things I got at G-Fest, since, uh, you know, I'll be on it soon, I'm wearing it, uh, got, you know, I went to a Billy DeBose, uh, panel on Sunday at 10 o'clock, or was it 10.30, I can't remember, but it was his, uh, Godzilla Battle Royale Q&A, and he was handing out free t-shirts for the first 40 people, and I think it was the first 70 people got a free copy of the movie that was like a two-disc set. You got the movie, and then you got a DVD with a whole bunch of extras on it. So I got a Godzilla Battle Royale t-shirt, you know, supporting it in this video. Billy, I don't know if you'll end up watching this video, but this is for you, buddy. Supporting it. Supporting the colors. Or the white. I don't know. <laughs> and, but, you can damn well sure... I got a copy of Godzilla Battle Royale. This is his fan film that he created. And uh, this is the DVD case for it. You know, very nice cover artwork done by Matt Frank on the front. Then there's the back side. And then on the inside, you have the extras and the DVD itself. So, very awesome. Very glad I got a copy of this movie. And I will be showing it locally at the uh, full moon events that we do every month down at the Metal Arts Village. And I set up my Godzilla info table. And I show two movies each month. And it's coming up here in uh, the week after next, I believe. I am going to be showing this movie along with another Godzilla Kaiju movie. But, uh, Billy, uh, when I go to show this, don't worry, I will be letting you know. And uh, I hope everyone does enjoy it, you know, spreading Godzilla Battle Royale around. Uh, thank you for giving out free copies of the shirts and the movies. That was very kind of you, Billy. You are awesome. So, can't wait to watch Godzilla Battle Royale. Now, the other thing that I'm about to pull out here, I didn't get at G-Fest. This was actually from Butch, Brutezilla, when I stopped in at his work in Nebraska. Uh, you know, I, I, was kind of, I was talking to him, and, and you know, I wasn't able to catch him at his house, but he had to go to work, and he's like, well, you can catch me at work, that's not a problem. You know, I didn't want to, like, impose and take him away, but right when we got there, he was on break. And he actually brought this for me, just because he has several copies. But it's a, a $1 million bill with Godzilla on the front of it, and then, of course, it has Godzilla on the back. And then he also gave me uh, this little uh, cardboard card thingy, which he said uh, what he got info on it from is um, they're actually uh, like baseball cards in Japan, but like on the back of it, uh, they te it teaches kids how to play baseball or something like that. So that's pretty neat. Again, I can't read Japanese, so I'm never going to know myself, but I'll take his word for it. But it you know, has you know, the poster artwork from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah on it. So this was a very nice little gift from Butch. And uh, thank you again, buddy. Uh, can't wait to see you again, you know, if I'm ever passing through Nebraska in your area again. And he said he's going to try to make it to next year's G-Fest. So uh, hopefully I see him before then. But if not, you better make it to G-Fest next year, Brutezilla. You better. You better do it. But thank you again for this, man. This is awesome. Let's see. Let me go over this T-shirt that I got. I bought a T-shirt from Everyone Knows the Famous Scrooge Jones at G-Fest. And uh, I was always fond of this artwork, and I decided to get a t-shirt from him this year. It's his uh, artwork of him kicking Megalon while Jet Jaguar has him in a full Nelson, and Godzilla's over there, and you got the Cetopian people down there in the corner. But just, you know, awesome shirt, you know. I asked him if he had him in my size, and he did, so I wasn't going to hesitate on pulling a trigger on getting a shirt from him. So very glad I got one of these shirts. I don't have too many Godzilla shirts, but, it, you know, the collection's starting to grow. So uh, thank you again, Scrooge, for selling me a shirt. <clears throat> All right. Um, I was going to save the big stuff for last, but uh, let's get moving on here to some other things. I just got to figure out where I'm going to set some stuff because I'm kind of running out of room over here. Uh, a lot of you know Masking Tape Monsters. If you don't, check them out on uh, Facebook. And uh, But for those of you who might know, he's the one that makes the hand puppets and other, you know, kind of Godzilla and other you know, stuff out of masking tape and latex and whatnot. And uh, what I ended up getting from him this year is this awesome GMK Baragon hand puppet. This thing was this thing was awesome when I first saw it. What got me were the eyes on it. The eyes are made out of glass. 
very nicely well done eyes. The eyes just popped on it for me, and that's what really sold me on it. I mean, I like Baragon. I like the show of Baragon a lot more, I'll admit, but uh, this is an awesome hand puppet. I asked him how much he want for it, and uh, he, you know, he wanted 100 bucks for it. I had no problem giving him 100 bucks for it. You know, I'm, a, I'm an artist myself. You know, I'm a welder. I make metal art. So I can appreciate other people's art, you know, when they do stuff like this. So uh, this was awesome. Thank you again, Masking Tape Monsters. I think I am going to incorporate uh, Baragon here into uh, future videos somehow. I just got to think of some ideas. Probably I give him a voice. Um, I can, I can kind of do Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice. So maybe I'll be like, hey, Godzilla fan freaks. Do the video. Do the review. Do it now. Now. Ah! You know, I, I don't know. I got to mess around with it a little bit and see how it goes. But uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, this is a very awesome GMK Baragon hand puppet that I got from G-Fest from Masking Tape Monsters. Thank you again. Uh, I can set him down here. All right. Uh, but, 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 uh, another... Ah! What was that? Oh, okay, it was that guy. I'll have to go pick him up, but uh, <laughs> just a Bandai figure. Nothing fragile, you guys, don't worry. No alarms need to be sounded. Anyway, another Godzilla vs. Hedra item that I got was uh, this kind of little mini uh, Godzilla vs. Hedra. Uh, Godzilla holding the Hedra eggs or Hedra eyes. I'm not going to get into that debate. I think they're eggs, but uh, it has been confirmed that they're eyes, but whatever. I'm not going to get into that. Anyway. Uh, this very nice Godzilla vs. Hedra, you know, mini diorama thingy. I don't know what I would call it. But, uh, you know, it's very nicely done. You know, got Godzilla standing on the ground with Hedra's body kind of right here. And he's holding the Hedra eggs slash eyes, whatever. And he's kind of like you know, smelling them or whatever. I don't know. He's doing that thing he did in the movie. But uh, very nice, you know, just caught my eye. It's very nicely sculpted, very nicely detailed, you know. And, I, you know, I just had to pick it up. So, very awesome. Glad I got kind of like another... I don't have too much like mini Godzilla stuff in my collection. So it's nice to add. Nice to add something else. Sorry, you guys. Kind of, you know, throat's drying up here. Got to get some water after this video. But uh, very nice there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see. Let me pick up the guy that fell. And I'll do... Let's see. Okay, that was just him. That was just Mecha Godzilla that fell. Oops, I'm not supposed to tell you guys what's, what else I got yet until you see it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me do Mechagodzilla next, since he's the one that fell. From Exian Japanese Import Toys, thank you, Greg. I got an 8-inch Bandai Mechagodzilla 93. As most of you know, Mechagodzilla 93 is my favorite Mechagodzilla. And uh, I was happy to finally acquire this Bandai figure of him. Uh, you know, he's not in perfect condition. Of course, he doesn't have a tag, but it didn't really bother me. Uh, you know, he has a little bit of scuff marks here and there, but, you know what, doesn't bother me at all. He's going to look nice on the shelf wherever I decide to put him. But, here's another thing I got, the Bandai 8-inch Mechagodzilla 93. Okay, next up. Now, this next one, I also did get from Greg at Exian Japanese and Port Toys. He gave me a deal on this figure. And, uh, it's a, uh... I don't want to really say vintage, because it's not really vintage vintage, but it's an older Bandai figure. But it's the uh, old Bandai Hedra figure. And uh, I, I didn't see any that on Greg's table, and I asked him if he had any more, and he kind of had them tucked away. And I asked him how much they were going for, and he said 75 bucks. but he was like, I'll give you one for 50 because me and Greg are best buds like that. And I turn around, and he's giving me one with a tag. Now, I'm not one who knows the exact prices of everything, but I know one of these Bandai Hedras with the tag attached can fetch a hundred or more, I think, I'd imagine anyway. So thank you, Greg, for giving me this deal. That is very awesome of you. Um, you know, this is my first old Bandai figure with the tag, so um, I will cherish it. Um, and what else can I say? That, that That's just awesome. And uh, yeah, I've been looking for another good... Bandai Hedra to add to my collection, and I'm glad it was one of these with a tag. That is just awesome. So thank you again, Greg at Exian Japanese Imported Toys. <clears throat> Hopefully this video doesn't lag on too long, but it's a G-Fest haul. Who cares, right? We're almost there. <clears throat> Next up is another one I got from Greg at Exian Japanese Imported Toys. 
is I got me a, another older Bandai figure, you know, the Bandai Gauss. Uh, this figure stood out, you know, at me. I really like. I really dig the colors on it. What really got me was like the red on the head, on the top of his head. Very nicely well done. And you know, this year was Gamera's 50th anniversary, so you know, I got a Gamera print, and that you know, I think that was about it. So I was like, you know what, I got to get a Gamera figure of some sort. And Gauss is my favorite uh, Gamera character, especially the Showa Gauss. I, I like the, the I like the Heisei Gauss. But uh, show is where it's at for me. I love the show of Gauss. But, uh, you know, I was glad to pick this figure up. Doesn't look bad. It's all nice and shiny. Doesn't have too many bad scuff marks on it. He had several on the table, and this was the one that looked the best out of the ones he had. But uh, very nice. I'm very glad that I got one of these Bandai Gauss figures. I'm really digging it. Thank you again, Greg. <clears throat> and I ended up popping my Marmot Cherry this year. And uh, my first Marmot is the Marmot Godzilla 84. This figure just stood out to me because of the colors, and it's Godzilla 84. I like Godzilla 84. Not one of my favorites, but, you know, not one of my top favorites, I should say. It's one of my favorite designs, but not, like, top, top. But, and I just decided, you know, I think it's time I break down and get a Marmot. And it did come in the bag with the header card, so that's always a plus. So, uh, and I got this from Radioactive Toys. So, very awesome. My very first Marmot. Okay, you guys. Now we're getting on to the big stuff. Just got to scoot and make some room, because, again, I don't have very much room around here anymore. But uh, I'll make as much room as I can. Hopefully this all gets in the shot, you guys. But time for the big, th big three items I got this year at G-Fest. Very first thing is another thing I got from Greg at Eggsy and Japanese Imported Toys. I ended up getting from him the X Plus 25 centimeter Rick Boy King Ghidorah that comes with the flying the you know the flying saucer and the fire dragon. Very awesome that I got this big bad boy. Can't wait to get him out of the box and put him you know put his wings on and uh, get him on display in my room. But uh, thank you, Greg at Eggsy and Japanese Imported Toys. Glad I got an X Plus Ghidorah. Very awesome. <clears throat> Set him down over here. Okay, next is the biggest box that I've acquired this year. Make sure it's facing the right way. It is. And I got this from Radioactive Toys. I ended up getting the X Plus Biollante and Godzilla Rick Boy set, the new light up feature set that just came out. Very happy to get this. Uh -huh. You know, I've always, I've, I've, I, you know, I've always wanted to get an X Plus Biollante, but it's always been really expensive. So now that this set recently came out, and don't get me wrong, it was still expensive, but it was still more reasonable than like two thousand, three thousand bucks online. So uh, very happy that I got one of these, and I'll be adding Biollante to my collection finally. Very happy about this. <clears throat> get this big box out of the way. Hopefully all this is showing up into the camera shot, you guys. Again, sorry. I don't have much room to deal with now that everything's rearranged. But, and the last thing I got at G-Fest 22 this year. Probably one of the, uh, one of the rarest things in my collection. And uh, when I was going around after I bought it, showing it to Rich, uh, Kaiju, you know, Kyle from KaijuCast, David Arab Dopko, and a few others, they were blown away that I was able to get one. And um, I'm happy that I got it too. And it is the 25 centimeter X Plus Gappa. If you collect X Plus or know a lot about X Plus, you know how rare of a gem this figure is. And this is one of those figures that I never thought I would ever, you know, see in person, let alone freaking be able to own one of these. I am one of the few people who has one of these. And when I mean one of the few, I mean one of the few. There's only a few other people I know of in the X Plus collectors group and a few other Godzilla collectors group that have this figure. And now I am one of them. Um, I, again, when I saw this, I was completely blown away that I even saw it at G-Fest. I mean, you can even go over to Japan. You could probably fly all around the world and probably never find one of these. It's that rare of a gem because this is when X Plus first started to do um, sculpts like this, I believe. And uh, this figure came out in 2009, I think it was. And uh, 
I'm very happy to own an X plus Gappa. I have a very good attachment to Gappa. It was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. When me and my dad would go to the video rental place, uh, you know, we I would always want to rent this movie, and my dad would be like, "Are you sure you want to rent that? We just rented it like last week, or you know, the week before, or, or whatever." And I was like, "Yeah." So I have that attachment to Gappa to my childhood. Sadly, I don't have the movie. You know, now I have to get I have to get around to getting the movie now because yeah, I bought this, but I don't got the movie. What the hell, right? So, um, but I'm very happy to have this very very rare gem. And uh, this is the, you know, and this is the way I'm going to close out uh, my G-Fest haul video, you guys. Again, second year anniversary for Godzilla Fan Freaks as well. Um, as far as reviews go and everything, uh, the next video after this is going to be the G-Fest 22 Experience video, where I'm going to talk and elaborate a little more about G-Fest. And then after that, we're going to start doing reviews. But I will tell you guys, for those of you who are going to be waiting on reviews for the big guys that I just showed and the Gappa here, I'm going to save the X Plus reviews to the very last. I'm, uh, for to the very last. So I'm going to like review a lot of other stuff first, and then these guys are going to come later down the road. I want to save the good stuff for later, so I'm going to have to make some of you guys wait for the reviews on this. But anyway, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed my G-Fest haul. Uh, I'm going to pretty much turn around and get some sleep here and everything. And uh, anyway, you guys, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Like always, please comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.